Thank you again for saving me from that place. What did you want to discuss? Seems like you made some progress. Yes, I have completed it, in fact. The apparatus has already detected a strong signal emanating from a source to the northeast. I was waiting for you to arrive so we could follow it. Oh, okay. Are you ready to go now? What What's going to be there? I'm certain the signal is emanating from a precursor site not far from here. In all honesty, the proximity is quite surprising. We will need to get closer to ascertain the exact nature of the site and its contents. I'm too busy right now. I got a coal caravan company that I got to start running and... <laughs> Oh, what happened to Fitzgerald, you ask? I don't know, never heard of him. Stop living in the past, John Cabot! Wait, wait, no, you actually do need to go return to the past. You do need to return <laughs> to the past, John. Return to the past, John Cabot! Gonna go back in time. <laughs> Gotta get back, back to the past, John Cabot. I don't quite know what we're going to be dealing with, so be sure to remain vigilant. Is it my butt? <laughs> we're gonna deal with when my butt. my father butt. found the lost city of Ubar, <laughs> I was able to excavate Ubar. it without much difficulty. I cannot predict that that will be the case now. Also, you did get that weapon from the wine waster if you wanted to use that one instead. You just... Oh. <laughs> it fires really fast and is kind of loud and intimidating. He, he took an AR-15 lower receiver and I put like the recoil system in the top of it. This is just an AR-15 lower receiver. <laughs> How does it even shoot bullets? <laughs> what, you don't think it works? No! Try pulling the trigger, see if it works. Hey, it works! It's so dumb. <laughs> I hate it. It's a caravan of eight now. Hurry up! We're not patrolling. Get a move on. Let's go. Time is of the essence. I know you have a time machine. You can just go forward and backward all willy nilly, but we can't. I had a prickly pear margarita once. Did Ooh, you? Real good. Do you see that fellow by the road? He seems rather perturbed. Don't, what this one we're standing right in front of, John? You look perturbed. Lucifer's balls. What's happened to you? You look awful. <laughs> what? <laughs> you might want to be a bit more careful approaching strangers of unknown means next time, Cabot. Don't forget we still need to reach our objective. Yes, of course. It's my objective. I was just curious about the state of this man. You're right, though. He doesn't look like the regular North Vegas junkie, but he's definitely a little worse for wear. Uh-huh. I'm right here, you know! Uh, those fu fucking gangsters. I was trying to... To breach that prospect again. They, they just fucking jumped me, man. Oh, God, my head. Oh, fucking. I think he's overdone it with the medics. He'll probably be fine. Probably. Probably. <laughs> you mentioned something about a dead prospect. Must be talking about Dead Prospect Cave. It's a popular spot for down on their luck prospectors trying to strike it rich with some fast money. There's a door at the end of it that no one's been able to open. Most have given up trying, but the downtrodden are eternally optimistic. It's not uncommon for prospectors to get in brawls with each other over loot. Well, in any event, we should keep going. Let's go to the Dead Prospector Cave! No, I want to go there instead. That sounds way more fun. The signal leads us to this bunker! With a boulder above it. That seems like a really bad idea to put that boulder up there. It's a trap. The worst mouse trap ever. Oh, that was a completely random thing. That wasn't where we were going. This is it. The signal must be coming from beyond that crevice. Crevasse? Are you sure? This is Dead Prospect Cave. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. The only thing beyond this crevice is the impenetrable door I spoke of earlier. And then there's the risk of those so-called gangsters. We should be more than capable of handling a few raiders. Come on, we won't achieve anything standing around. All right, let's do it! Careful, careful, you don't know. Could be raiders in here. Is that the door that they were talking about? There's nothing in here! Why would prospectors even come into this place? to try cracking that door over there with the big red circle on it. That door was functional for five years until it red ringed. <laughs> All I gotta do is just throw it in the oven for a couple minutes. This is it. Beyond this door lies the origin of the signal. A lost city, perhaps. But then, who built this door? And for what reason? Nobody knows. I've heard of people generations ago who attempted to break in without success. Already by then, its existence was common knowledge. As far as I'm aware, it's been here since before the Great War. I don't think anyone can say much beyond that. Some have claimed to have seen people moving in and out, or even to have themselves gone through. But that's just a bunch of unverified rumors. Until now. Interesting, but time presses. Whatever the case, we need to get inside. Do you have a plan, then? I will need to ascertain the mechanism before... Ah! What's this? The door's changed color. It means you can go. What the hell? I've never heard of it doing that before. Can you open it? I'll try to. 
It's actually open. I thought that Prospect Cave was a lost cause. As excited as I am to find out what's beyond, we're going to have to exercise caution. Timmer, Peters, guard the door while we inspect the interior. Don't let anyone inside. Got it. All right, let's continue on. Why what? didn't anybody just take a drill to it? Uh, maybe this guy did. It seems we weren't the first to get this far after all. No. However, I think it's safe to say that whoever beat us didn't live to tell the tale. He must have been trapped inside this chamber. Hmm. Speaking of which, we should probably secure the door to ensure the same doesn't happen to us. Oh, good idea. What? Oh. Shit! No, 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 this isn't good. Uh-oh. Remain calm. We won't find a way out of here by panicking. The initial door opened for a reason. We just have to find out how to replicate it. Now, looking at this door... The text printed on it isn't in some esoteric language. This is Chinese. How did the communists manage to construct this this far into American soil? Mike, help! I'm stuck in here with two idiots! I don't see how your knowledge of ancient languages is going to help us here, Carrot. You don't understand. This is an integral part of my research. If the Chinese had managed to get their hands on any ancient technology stored here, or if they had somehow developed the capability to in one way or another replicate the precursor signal, it could have immense ramifications. More like sheepifications. <laughs> More immense than the fact that we're stuck in here? More important than finding a way out? Mm. Don't worry. If we're left with no other options, I have installed a failsafe mechanism in my suit that can bring us to safety. Is it a frag grenade? <laughs> I suppose you're right, though. Let's investigate this area. Dead Prospector's holotape. Oh, he had a cigarette before he died. I'll take that cigarette, thank you. I've been trapped in this room for... It must be around two weeks by this point. How are you not dead? Most of the rations I left outside. Although that's probably for the best. I sincerely doubt I'll see the sun again. If you found a way into here, I suppose you'll now get to see whatever treasure I was after. Nope! Door's stuck. It's not West Tech, or I would have known about it from before the war. But perhaps related. I won't be able to solve any mysteries now. Only... Adrian's going to think I abandoned her. Yep, because you did. Oh, there goes old Uncle Benny again, running away from the mine of the last prospects of his life. Adrian, through all my failings, you kept me anchored to this earth. Adrian Brody, Adrian Brody. You mean everything to me, and I wouldn't leave you for anything. I hope she'll be able to fend for herself now that I'm gone. She died five minutes later. Stop running into me, jackass! What's this thing? Ultra Sledge! Ah, if I'm not mistaken, what you have just picked up is an Ultra Sledge. I recently saw the general unveiling of the product. That might be able to get through this door. Why don't you give it a swing? Ultra Sledge! Open! Open! It didn't do anything. Fine, I'll try it on this stupid door. Are you alright? Good. It looks like you can still stand. However, evidently the same can be said for the door. We're still no closer to getting through. What? Well, now that we know brute force hey, is out of the question. Wait, it sounds like someone's speaking over an intercom worker. system. They are not with the family. What? What? What the fuck is this shit? Oh. Uh, never mind. You. I know you can hear me. Listen up. I don't know who you are, but the score is ours. We spent months trying to breach that door you just strolled through. And it took a very expensive tip-off for some mystery man to finally get in. Who the fuck told you we'd be here? We got a mole? Someone's been tipping off the competition? What the hell's happening? Maybe it was that same guy that got us in here. Ah, uh, whatever. There's a lot of serious tech up here where I'm standing. Can't understand a bit of it, but you being there sure isn't helping things. I figured out how to lock you in that little closet at least. But that's our only way out, so we're going to have to take care of you, conventionally. Oh, Weapons ready, is. everyone. You we're going to have to fight our way out. Woo! Welcome. Don't mind the bullets. Typical Omerta greeting. They're going to try and kill us. Hey. Hi, we're here to kill you. Zap, we're here to help. Dad? Oh, you guys are here now. Yeah, they did the auto release. Oh, they opened all the doors. That was nice of them. You like that? You like that? Oh god, it's the Omertas? Seriously? You guys. Give me this. Give me this. I swear. Everything up here. So much vibe now. All the West Coast what's up here. Speaking of energy weapons, Zach, 
I did pick up a weapon from K. Remember how he ran past us and I said I wanted his gun? And yeah. you said, don't worry, it's just a Tesla Barton prototype gun? Yeah. It wasn't. The hell is this thing? <laughs> it's the Telelands. Fucking not at home. Teach him to underestimate the What? <laughs> There's a laser grid. So, uh, Oh, hello. Ah! Yes. Good gravy! Exactly! Nice Pancor jackhammer, nerd. You, you cannot miss with that weapon, bro. Hey, Zach, over here. Help me out. All right, hang on. Let me just... Zach, hurry up. Don't miss. How did I miss? Punch of Veronica. Man, I suck with this gun. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, I ran out of ammo. Already? This weapon is good, I just wish it didn't look so stupid. <laughs> you gotta stop hating on things just because they're unique. I don't like how it looks. It's boring to me. Oh, you need a paint job for it, huh? We can pimp out your gun. Welcome to Zach's Pimp My Gun Show. Ugh. <laughs> oh, get him, Willow! Get him! Oh, wow, Willow's worse with it than I am. I don't think she's invested in energy weapons either. <laughs> Or something. Go. Man, I cannot wait to kill this dude. Although I do enjoy the Chinese propaganda posters. I'm getting real sick of seeing Mao Zedong's face. <laughs> Big what? stupid face. But he's so photogenic. No, he isn't. If he's not photogenic, why do they put his picture everywhere? Because it's a cult. Oh. Ow, 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 stop, please, stop. Unless you have a P90, stop shooting at me. Uh, if they do have a P90, they can continue shooting at you? Yes, because then I know where they are so I can take it! <laughs> Don't you have a Gamora to run? Peekaboo! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Giuseppe. I didn't mean to turn you into a goo pile. Giuseppe, Giuseppe, are you there? Fuck, they're entering the canyon, man. Hold your positions. And he fits into a cup now. Don't just throw yourselves at them, you fools. You know how to fight. Wow, this is impressive. Ooh. It's got like a holographic sight on it, and Ho it's a 10 mil. Is that a Type 19 with hollow sights? No, it's a it's a Mauser broom handle with like a weird holographic sight system on it. Pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I, I, we'll use this for a second. Got it. Okay, we're going the right way now. You have unlocked the executive bathroom. Good job. We're here at the canyon. Ooh, a nice new world space. The heck is that? Hmm. What's that over there? Is this Operation Anchorage? Ah! <laughs> I don't know how good sniping is going to be with that weapon, sadly. Probably not great. Yeah. Oh man, I wish I was better with pistols. No, because we shot him through the eye. God, I hate this guy. I cannot wait to kill this man. Or woman with a husky voice. How many people does it take to fucking kill you? Just one competent one. They're crossing the bridge now. Knock those scroungers off. I don't want to cross this bridge. They're going to turn it off. I don't know if I feel comfortable crossing that bridge, Zach. Ow! We probably should have crossed it all at once. I'm not, I'm not doing great with this gun. It's it's got a cool design, but it's just not, not strong enough for your skills. Yeah, unfortunately. It's you're just used to using overpowered weaponry, <laughs> some anachronistic weapons that shouldn't exist. Yeah, unfortunately, and also pistols were never really good in this game unless you spec specifically into them. That's true, and you spec specifically into shotguns. Yeah, so it's kind of pointless for me to use anything but shotguns, unfortunately. Hmm. We should have brought a sniper rifle with us. Yeah, that probably would have been smart. We had that drag knob and everything, and we just left it behind. Ah, shoot, you're right. Oh, well. Live and learn, or die. Oh, that's kind of neat. Look at that. Ooh, a star. Nice graffiti. There can't possibly be any more omertas, right? No, probably not. Why would you build the, like, main structure of your bunker in here, where everybody can look down and fire at? Ah, eh, whatever. Yeah, get him, Willow! Ma what the f- Yeah, yeah, get ready to die, punks! Mike, what in the god's name is that thing? It's my gun! That is so stupid! <laughs> Murder them. 
You know how you always say, uh, the longer the barrel, the more accurate your shots? Yes, yeah, so technically. I'm never gonna miss now! I think it's gonna be really hard to get a consistent sight picture with that thing. Man, my reputation is really gonna drop with the Omeritas after this. <laughs> we haven't even done their quest yet! Oh, can you read Chinese? You know what that says? No, I can't read Chinese. Why would you think I can read Chinese? Maybe you could read just enough to read that. I don't. No. I can't read Chinese. Okay. I'm too stupid. All right. Well, fair enough. It's a difficult language to learn. Doesn't even use the, the typical alphabet we're familiar with. Also, it's a tonal language, so that's that's something you gotta learn. In the tower. Whoa! In the tower. Whoa! This is pretty cool! Aside from all the guys shooting at us. Aside from that, everything else is pretty cool. Come Ow, please stop. Thank you. There's still eight of us. Come they on. haven't killed any of us. You guys are terrible at your jobs. Oh, we're used to shaking down gamblers. It's not our fault. I, we're, we're a militaristic force. <laughs> oh, you can't walk on the green ones. Uh, I didn't know that Fallout had hard light constructs. Hmm. We could, we could probably go to the store and buy you a P90. I'm just really bent out of shape about it, because P90 is one of my favorite guns, even though it's not lethal. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just fell over dead because he knew what was going to happen. <laughs> what is that? Oh, is that a VSS Ventores? How the hell have you let Hold, please. Woohoo! I have an integrally suppressed submachine gun now. Uh. Whoa. Careful, the safety railings are missing there. Safety railings, please. The VSS Ventores, huh? Yeah, it's in 9x39. What makes it so cool? Well, the original VSS Ventores is technically a semi-auto rifle, but it's, um... The VSS Ventores sounds like the name of a, a ship cruiser. They have reached the fourth floor. Do not allow them to access the penthouse. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah. Yeah, whatever, I'm busy talking. It's so much gunfire hitting these guys. It's an integrally suppressed gun in 9mm by 39. Ah, shit. I'm going to have to show you how it's done. Hey! Come on! <laughs> wow, I didn't even get a chance to finish reloading. So the VSS Ventores is a Russian gun that's in 9 by 39 which is a really, really heavy bullet. They basically took a 9mm round and jammed it in the end of an AK-47 bullet. Hmm, normally that doesn't work well. It's real heavy. It's you like that? Ow! 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 You like that? It's somewhat slow, but it's subsonic, so it hits like a truck. When you say subsonic, if I think silenced weapon. Yes, it is. A, it is supposed to be a suppressed gun, but it still hits like a truck. Yes, because it's a really heavy bullet. Hi, boys! 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 So you This is a spy. You get it. Oh, I don't think so. We're going all the way. Basically, it's an AK that's in 9mm, but with a lot more gunpowder. <laughs> oh, all right, John will be fine. With a lot more gunpowder behind it and a giant suppressor attached to the end of it. Okay. Where'd he go? Where'd the bad guy go? Whoa! Fuck. What the hell was that? Um... Right now, I should be hiding in a corner, or begging you for mercy, right? Maybe you'd think I would now offer to share the loot here with you. That tactic always works so well, doesn't it? Yes. Ah, you don't have a clue. This is a once-in-a-lifetime score. This is the jackpot of a century. I would not give this up if a man condemning my sword of fire and brimstone forever. What? Oh, you think you've won, don't you? You have made it here, after all. To the head of the serpent, despite the odds. Yeah. All those enemies in your path. But no, there's still tricks on my sleeve. What in the- ah. Lucifer's balls. <laughs> Richard! I couldn't stand another word. Nice work. <laughs> I- this is- <laughs> And he picked up his- Oh, <laughs> I wanted it. <laughs> all right. These seem to be the controls to unlock all the doors in this place. What a rambling idiot. <laughs> he was right on one thing, at least. This find is quite remarkable, fitting compensation for services rendered, even. Compensation? What is the meaning of this, Richard? Oh, great. Sorry, but this little project of yours has gone on for too long with too little to show for it. I'm cashing out now, and you two, you two are going back home. 
We weren't planning on going back home once we completed the quest. If you surrender now, I promise you'll still have a little tiny bit of your face left tomorrow morning. After I chew it off and eat it! Nice try, buddy. But I come too far to let fear rule my actions. Only greed, my friend. You traitorous scum! I'll kill you! I don't like it any more than you do. But if you're not going to acquiesce, then more direct measures will have to be taken. <laughs> it had to be done. He was going to kill both of us. At least now he can't threaten us anymore. I, is somebody else gonna go stand by there so that someone else can shoot them? <laughs> oh, Vito's back. I'm not done yet. They'll come any second now, and then you'll be leaving this world for good. What? what? Ah, great. The Legion and the- what in the NCR? Oh, a oh, nice knife, loser. <laughs> you see, the family's reach is more extensive than you think. We have a pie in every wasteland finger out there. We have a pie in every wasteland finger? <laughs> now, shall I have these fine ladies and gentlemen gun you down? Or perhaps have a little more fun with you before- Retribution! <laughs> oh, well, you shut up. <laughs> How long is this gonna go on for? <laughs> go, go NCR! Go, go NCR! Go NCR! Yes, take his gun. I couldn't stand another word. Yeah, that's, you know, that's not the first time I've heard that today. Hey, I can figure. Old Vittorio Vici over there had quite a big mouth. I can't say I'll miss him. Not that I'll need him anymore where I'm going. Retribution! No, not this. Haven't we all gone through enough of that? Just listen to me for a moment, will you? You want to hear what I had to say? Your presence here is most auspicious, I assure you. I want you to memorize every detail of what you've seen here. <laughs> Retribution! Stop, please. I have half a mind to dome you right here. Don't you realize that we can all leave this situation happy? Can we? When you're done waxing murderous, I want you two to meet me on the balcony. I'll show you the birth of a new Mojave. A new republic. Ha ha ha. Okay. Uh, sorry, Harrison what, no? Bentley, tell the truce to begin the attack. There's three years wages in it for everyone. Cool, we're not getting paid a wage, but okay. Yeah. A nice puny little gun you got there, Richard. I'm still somewhat bitter I didn't get to kill Vito. <laughs> N3 N930 shotgun. Good god, what even is this? <laughs> okay, we'll use this for a little bit. We can experiment around. Also, it's time for us to check out the armory. Let's see the, the Ooh, where is it? The fruits of our labors. Is it back here? Yes, comrade! Comrade. Is that it? That better not have been it. <laughs> I think that was it. That a couple. Oh man! <laughs> There's some false grenades. Wait, was there one more cabinet? Oh, I just heard somebody else get shot. <laughs> Jangji type 25s. I think this might have been in there. <laughs> I think this might have been in one of the weapon ah, lockers. Ah, and Vita was wielding it. Yeah. Ooh, a suppressed. Chinese rifle. I, <laughs> what is happening up there? Oh, we're supposed to meet him on the balcony. Oh, and there's an a, attack being launched. Against whom? What, what is happening? Oh, yeah, good. There's nothing quite like the lights and sounds of battle, is there? I, oh, that's what's happening. Gentlemen, I've gathered you here today to observe the eve of a glorious revolution in the NCR. You look familiar. You're already a friend of the Republic, I see. Good, I could use a few war heroes in my administration. We killed Colonel Shu! But I'm getting ahead of myself. Firstly, the contents of Dead Prospect Cave and the areas beyond are hereby under the jurisdiction of the NCR. Uh, okay. To be precise, everything in this place now belongs to me. All the weapons, armor, equipment, supplies, etc., etc. We get the shotgun. I'll assume you both know what that means. So this is how it's going to go. Tomorrow I pacify the threats on the frontier and bring the Mojave Wasteland under the NCR's rule. The day after, I march on Shady Sands and announce my bid for presidency. Forcefully, of course. A, a coup? Oh, for the victor God. for the spoils, you see. And it's not like anyone is in a position to object. It's, yeah, there's a lot of people. If the president doesn't like it, he can talk to my guns. If Oliver doesn't like it, he can talk to my men. If the people don't like it, well, they can talk to my bombs. Uh... It can be difficult to know what to do when you're on top, but I always wanted to know how it is to be drunk on power. This, my friends, is the seat of the future. And I'm willing to give you both a piece He's of... He's got a laser pointer. Oh my god! <laughs> For God's sake, you really have to stop standing in the open like that. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, uh, Veronica, Veronica, stop standing in the open. 
What uh, is that noise? What's happening? So, no coups today? No coups, I guess. What? Ooh, Taishu! I'm no expert in Chinese, but that public address sounded awfully like an alert for the imminent self-destruction of this base. Oh, okay! I'll have to use the failsafe. It hasn't been field tested yet, but it's our best shot. Stay close to me. Uh, push, push it! Do it! Zach, those are Chinese numbers! I don't- uh, Oh my god, push the button! They're backwards Chinese numbers! Kevin, do it! I don't like the sound of backwards Chinese numbers, Kevin! Are we dead or did we escape? Oh, for God's sake. Uh, um, well, a bit of ringing in the ears and bruises on the body aside, we seem to have made it out in one piece. What? Mop. Welcome to Aerotech Suite 100, year 2076. What? This is where I had set up my workstation what? before I arrived in 2281. Uh, Why don't we lighten the mood a little? No, now is What's not a the nice time conventional for... track for the I was almost blown to smithereens by an exploding Chinese military base angle. It's raining men. I suppose this will it's do. It's raining men. Now, as for the immediate future, I hadn't factored the possibility of discovering something the likes of what we found into my assessments. What did you expect me to find? This brings up a whole host of new questions and problems. I would prefer not to be caught out in the open again in an unexplainable situation. Okay. As such, there are additional inquiries to be pursued in the here and now, and I cannot return to your time until they are resolved. If there's nothing else to be said, I would like to get started on the large amount of work that has just revealed itself. Okay. We're not backwards in time. You can't travel 200 years back in time. I've tried. He's obviously lying to us again. He must be. Look, I need to know some things. Of course. What would you like to know? What's it like being alive in this time period? We are people on the edge of Armageddon. I wonder if there's a way we can avoid the nuclear catastrophe you described. Nope. Under the veneer of a perfect suburban existence, the United States is a troubled place. Civil unrest is mounting as our wartime austerity measures. To what now? I was never too invested in these issues. They seem to be just the most recent and long history of conflicts and hardships. I don't like getting involved in politics. I like to stay out of it and let the maniacs handle things. One year later, the bombs get dropped. Good job. Probably should have gotten involved. I don't know. You have a time machine. Why don't you go work on it like that? <laughs> My priority is and has always been to study foreigner technology. However, our discoveries have added a few wrinkles. What were the Chinese doing in Nevada? How did they construct that complex, and when? Mm -hmm. What was its purpose? How did they go unnoticed? It could be that they managed to replicate aspects of the precursor signal. Alternatively, it is also possible that they were investigating as I am. Maybe it was just a popcorn factory. I don't have a clear course of action. I'm debating whether or not to involve the United States government in finding answers to these questions. They'll just lock you up with your dad. I will analyze the evidence I have collected more closely, then decide what to do. All right, I have a few things I must do. You can stay in here as long as you like. When you're ready to leave, just use the device. Sure. One last thing. I never did tell you my real name. Knowing it may not be very significant to you, but I think you should nonetheless. What is it? Jack Cabot. It was nice to meet you. What an alias. 100 pre-war monies. You oh realize boy. that's worthless in the future, right? Uh, ooh, I got some nice posters in here. That is a nice poster. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. Uh, that's boring. No, I would look at 38. That one's pretty good. That's at least in pristine condition. I, are you not gonna let me leave? Seriously? I can't let you out. You can't, you can't interfere with the patch. I create a time paradox. Ah, oh, God. Oh, cool. The computer's been shut down. Great, whatever. Ah, system Fine. 36. Let's just get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right. I'm done with this place. Ah! Hooray, we're back in Aerotech. Oh. Oh, okay. So we're back here. Mm-hmm. Well, cool. That, that literally was all that was keeping people from getting in here. <laughs> yeah, this door. This one chair was the only thing that kept people from getting into this room. Yes, that was it. Oh, why did all of my clothes come off? <laughs> and whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Time travel does affect the human body in weird ways. Jesus, I'm jacked! Yeah. What happened? You were in the hyperbolic time chamber. Oh almost. my God, I'm ripped as fuck. Holy shit! We Willow! Willow, look how sexy I am! We're both ripped as hell. We've been working out. Same thing, Veronica! Look at how sexy I look! Also, strangely enough, his club foot is gone! I know! It's crazy! I have individual toes now! <laughs> I have to show more people my new naked body! Ow! God! 
I tripped, and I don't feel lucky. Oh, what the? Ah, it's a memorial. What the hell? The monument commemorates the valiant heroes who laid down their lives for China's rise. From the Yalu River to the Tokyo Bay, from Jiangxi and Yanyan to the uh, west coast of America, Chinese people have struggled and sacrificed to secure the prosperity of future generations. Eternal glory to the people's heroes who, in pursuit of national independence and the freedom of happiness of people, made the ultimate sacrifice. What? What? I don't know why we have a Chinese Oh, monument. look, it's a little stumpy one! <laughs> oh! Why do I have to take my seat in the audience? Okay. What the fuck? Who's putting on a show? There's a lot, of, a lot of empty seats here. Must not have been selling very well. I guess we'll sit down and watch. Oh, you can sit down, Willow. It's fine. <laughs> I saved you a chair. Oh, what the? And so, with that farewell, the courier and the scientist parted ways, their collaboration becoming another memory on their long and checkered roads. Their experiences, hard to believe. Their stories, indistinguishable from legends. This is like an eighth grade play. Yeah, kinda. Hey, you guys are all dead! We, you all got murdered, one by one. Having extricated himself from dealings with Jack Cabot, Marley avoided the calamitous fates that befell many of those who did not. Oh, you're that ghoul at the bar. His life wore on much like it did in the decades and centuries before, with its month-long dives into pre-war ruins and seedy New Vegas clubs. We shared five lines. Well, not necessarily prestigious. He viewed his work in as high regard as Jack Cabot did his. After all, while both he and the scientists were picking apart the old world, at least Marley was building a new world in return. For all his ruthlessness and opportunism, Jules Turner could not stop the frontier from claiming his life. You could have if you hadn't pulled a gun on us! Against all odds and the knowledge of the old world, the courier struck Turner down, bearing his ideology with him. Maybe one day another would come to claim his place. In the frontier of the Mojave Wasteland or another locale. We'll kill them too! Anywhere the light of civilization would shine dimly, encroaching from without. Maybe a successor would be stronger or smarter. Maybe they would be more ethical or humane. We don't need an epilogue for you, you suck! Yeah, you're a loser! Did Prospect Cave had lured another lost soul to his doom. Richard died unceremoniously at the hands of John Cabot, but even before the fatal shot was fired, it was already gone. Uh huh. Consumed by greed, Richard has set aside his principles, betraying his employer and himself in one fell swoop. Yeah, because you're a loser. Perhaps it was for the best that the memory of Dead Prospect was held by so few, and so unbelievable. Richard would thus be remembered fondly for his past contributions, rather than his descent into corruption and final act of treachery. You died the way you lived! Talking too much! The courier's assistance and high priest Pattinson's time of desperation stunned the Viper leader into awe. Do you mind if I smoke? Though his faith was strong, Pattinson could not help but doubt that the Great Snake's voice could reach the interloper's deafened ears. In the aftermath of the confrontation at the Wilson Automatoes factory, a feast of three days and nights was called. It praised the reformation of the most prodigal of transgressors, and celebrated the peace between former enemies, the Vipers and the Wine Wasters. Soon after, Pattinson divested himself of direct leadership of the new Vipers, choosing to head west to restore the faith once more to its homeland. And then, he went back to his room and ate a bunch of tin cans. Thanks for Wormslayer, by the way! Having reconciled with the new Vipers, the group he had tried to exterminate, Cherokee found himself with one flank of his growing territory secured. Although the peace left him and the wine wasters free to expand in other directions, and of the interference of a similarly expanding power... That lady's armor is cool! He often wondered whether he would have been better off eliminating this potential challenger to his group's authority, when it was still manageable. Mic check, one, two. Yeah, no matter. He had an organization to run. Raised to orchestrate. Wine to sip. A name to make for himself. Passers-by to assassinate and steal from. Good God, man, you're gonna break the stage! Be careful! Oh God, there's more! Me big! Me strong! <laughs> oh, it's these guys. Sorry we killed your god! With a final mortal blow, the tyrannical reign of the evil king was ended. Before it even started, Am I on the right spot on stage? Apart from a momentous battle, there was little that likened Kathlama's second coming with his first. I can't tell. Where's the blue axe? None of the glory could be found this time. No time to impale unruly subjects. No brutally torture his defeated foreign enemies. Oh, I'm colorblind shit. <laughs> the followers of Kathlama took solace in one thought. Just as the people's fear of their plant sovereign had faded over the generations before, 
So would that ridicule over the generations to come? It's time for you to leaf. Get off the stage. <laughs> hey, they're dead too. I wonder whether I wonder if they're gonna say something different because we murdered them. Does every corpse get to speak? Fitzgerald's high expectations for the future were dashed with his death, but the Fitzgerald <laughs> Cavern conglomerate survived under Pulsey's care. No, no, it didn't. He's dead too. The company retained its name, its flag, and the high regard in which its founder was held. Such was Pulsey's respect for his former employer. Doubt. Visitors to the highway pit stop would ask after the business's namesake and be treated with nostalgic stories for their curiosity. From the corpse? The more cynical among us would go on to argue that Poolsy exploited Fitzgerald's fame for his own profit. <laughs> yeah, he probably did! But the conclusive truth is unknown and unknowable. You're in the depths of imperfect minds, of imperfect memories. You're gonna have to call him F.S. Broken Gerald. Ha 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 Oh, shit, they're still talking. They're, they're going on. Okay. <laughs> Three factions in a dead prospect cave on the tip of a mystery man. Oh would be disappointed if any still lived. The power Vito had discovered in the alien complex was lost. The family's leadership would never know of its mission's near spectacular success, of the embarrassing circumstances of its failure. It would never know of Major Corey's betrayal, although if it did, it would likely grudgingly respect his cunning initiative. No, <laughs> probably not. The final chapter in the lives of Vito, Corey, and Tiberius remained only in the memories of the scientists and the courier. His cool lasted a whole 20 seconds. And who yeah. knows for how long they would remember. Yeah, I'll forget in like an hour. I didn't even get any lines. This sucked. All I said was retribution once. They say that war, war never changes. Empires have risen, and ideologies have sprouted on the back of this idea. This mask. This ancient shield men and women have erected before the questions they don't want to ask. The answers they don't dare to know. If war never changes, it is not because of the insistence of the dogmatic, and not because of an unassailable, insurmountable, universal constant. I can say big words, too. The truth can be found by the brave individuals who would rather believe the unbelievable than the artificial. Time travel's fake! Who would take charge of their existence, and reciprocate the world that has given them a life. Birds aren't real! An opportunity to change. That, that teleporter was a good fake-out, but we know time travel's not real. You can't go back that far. Oh, yes, China and America united at last. Ah, oh, it's a debate. We're watching a debate. Certainly some stones have been left untouched. Of course, it is better that way. Some secrets are best left untold. He will be back. In a way, he's no different from us. I will be there to stop him. <laughs> it was interesting, your ploy in Steve Falls Cave. What? I suppose it would be for one who lacks imagination. What? A shame it didn't succeed. For you, in any case, it was quite spectacular seeing you writhing in pain, defeated at your own game once again. Who was I at? You have not won yet. The war rages on. It is a dry spell, nothing more. The Mojave Desert remains a dangerous place. What? Dangerous enough for, say, unexpected fatalities. As dry as the Mojave Desert, or perhaps even the Gobi, I should know. Why did you feel the need to draw on the beliefs of a group of religious fanatics when formulating your plan? A little superstition keeps the people thinking, distracted. Me, a plant. You, a snake. The publicity department could not have done better. <laughs> what the hell is this? Are you still rehashing those old stratagems of yours, Chairman? Not any more than you, President. You must realize that, though I did not halt the scientists' progress, your help was ultimately futile as well. <laughs> what is happening? You were too passive, I think. Besides cracking into the Ford Operations Center, you seem to have been quite aloof to recent proceedings. Oh, man. You weren't looking hard enough, then. Perhaps you've internalized this place in this story so thoroughly that you no longer recognize its significance. He's sitting right in front of you. They locked the doors so you can't leave. Ah, God. so his arrival was your doing. Clever, I must say. Nevertheless, you will not be there next time. Look, Mom, I'm on stage! We'll have to see what happens then. The immortal scientist was close. Uncomfortably close. For now, though, we must go our separate ways. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Until next time, Chairman. Is this supposed to be a peek into yes, the, yes, farewell. the conflicts of the past? And goodbye to you two. That was quite a show you put on. However, you may want to consider a change of allegiances in future. He's, he's leaving. You didn't even walk left off the stage. You just walked off the stage into the crowd. In, into the audience. Which makes no sense. Is he our new... Oh, he's doing it too. Why do you have a gun? <laughs> to shoot you, of course. Oh, God! <laughs>
Okay. That was Cabot's quest. That was a mod quest. By... It, was, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. Thanks for playing. I enjoyed it. Yes, thanks for modding. You must be the one called Poolsy. I've heard about you. Hired as a guard for a caravaneer called Fitzgerald, who was gunned down by the nefarious Mike and Zack. To escape their wrath, you faked your own death? Quite brilliant. I hear you're planning to leave town just as quickly as you came in. I wouldn't stick around either, it's pretty dangerous. But before you go, I was hoping you could sell me a powerful weapon. Do you have any of those in stock? Aha, yes. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, this stupid gun is made out of a good quality metal. I can't wait to melt it down for throwing spearheads. Apart from the location in the Rubahari, my father was always convinced that there was another alien city buried somewhere in the Mojave Desert. If you have a hypothesis, and in order to prove that hypothesis is true, you have to invent a fucking time machine? <laughs> you might need to rethink your hypothesis. 